back for another bonus episode of Capes and Tights, a comic book and pop culture podcast. I'm your host, Justin Soderberg, for this bonus podcast. A week from, uh, from today, this episode drops on April 29th. A week from today is Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. And today on this ep- bonus episode, we are going to talk America Chavez. But before we get started, capesandtights.com. At Capes and Tights Podcast on Twitter and or, uh, Facebook and Instagram, at Capes Tights Pod on Twitter and on Apple, Spotify, and all your major podcasting platforms. Make sure you listen to us weekly every Tuesday with a new episode of the podcast featuring myself and my co host Adam Morissette. With on this bonus episode, we thought we'd talk and get you previewed ready for Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness with this episode, talking about a new character. So we do these preview episodes now, <clears throat> introducing a character. And a lot of times we were doing uh, like the main character, we did Moon Knight. Uh, I did. Uh, well, who else do we do? We did. Uh, who else do we do? We did a, one recently that I, I remember too. Uh, Moon Knight. Oh, Morbius. We did Morbius as well. And these are just to get you an idea of a, a character that's either being new, newly introduced into the MCU or into a Marvel film, into something we were talking about in pop culture, uh, for as the main character in the film or someone that's introduced in a film. So obviously, we don't need to preview Doctor Strange. You can listen to our Doctor Strange. Uh, first movie pre uh, review with myself and guest host uh, Paul Eaton of Galactic Comics and Collectibles. We also t- previewed Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. So in that episode, we talked about the entire film as a whole, and we talk about Doctor Strange. So you don't really need to know who Doctor Strange is per se. You can you can you can listen to that episode. But we thought, why not? America Chavez, new character in the MCU, new character to all of us. Let's get acquainted with her. So she was created by writer Joe Casey and artist uh, Nick Dragata. First appearance was in Vengeance Number no. One from July of 2011. Her alias is also Miss America, uh, so that's the uh, another, another name she goes by. But America Chavez is her name in the comic books and will be in this movie coming up here this next month or so. Uh, I'm not this so next week or so, I should say. Uh, powers and abilities: she has a power of flight, superhuman speed, superhuman strength. Invulnerability, star portal creation. She can traverse the multiverse through these star portals she can create. Uh, she has energy infusion, superhuman longevity, which again, uh, probably delayed aging as well. Hyper cosmic awareness and bilingual. That's a big one. I put it under powers and abilities because bilingual is a huge thing, I think, to be accomplished as a superhero as well. So she has a couple of weaknesses. She has edges syndrome. It's a genetic disease linked to her XX chromosomes. Uh, which causes cellular degeneration. So that's obviously becomes a big issue in the comic books uh, with her powers and so on. So check that out in Vengeance Number 1 and all of her comic books since then. Um, a little bit about her. Uh, and this is from the comic books. At age five, America and her little sister Catalina were brought to a private island of billionaire Mr. Gales, uh, where a high-end medical facility was set up. The island was used by America's mothers, Amelia and Elena Chavez, who were expected or expert microbiologists and pathologists, respectively, working to cure America and Catalina of Edges syndrome, uh, a discovered genetic disease linked to their XX chromosomes. Once America started showing a remission, her powers manifested to the delight of Mr. Gales, who was attempting to encourage America to use her powers against her mother's wishes, as Amelia and Elena refused to continue allowing Gales to exploit their daughters and their other girls at the facility, America and Catalina, were taken by Elena to rendezvous for an escape. But the girls witnessed their mother, Amelia, dying, destroying the portal chamber that Gales shot Elena. Then Gales shot Elena. Uh, with Elena dying, and, and as the other girls fought Gales, the security, his, in his security bag, America opened a star portal to another place to take Catalina with her. But Catalina was ripped from her grips by Gales at the last second. Emerging from the other side, America saw the island in flames, distraught, believing that her whole family was dead and she was all alone. So that's the beginning part of America Chavez and how she became who she is uh, to now have the ability to have those abilities in this. But the MCU bio for this, we just give you a little shout out to the MCU. A teenager with the ability to travel between dimensions by punching open doorways who originates from another universe. Uh, America, uh, sorry, American Marvel Studios production and development manager Richie Palmer stated that Chavez's powers are maddening to Strange and Wong, given they uh, have never encountered anyone with these abilities and it is their job to protect the dimensional barriers. 
Gomez said that everything, I'm sorry, everything is going completely wrong for Chavez in the film as she is running away from her uniqueness until she learns to embrace it. The film acknowledges also that Chavez is gay in the comics as well. So that's great. Nice having, uh, you know, the LGBTQ plus community uh, represented here uh, and, and seeing that in the pride, pride of uh, Chavez and so on. So that's her MCU bio. So it's a little bit different, but the same really. I mean, it's basically they're, they don't look like they're going to devi- deviate from her powers at all. Uh, she's going to have pretty much the same exact powers from the comic books into the uh, movies. It will be also interesting because there's no origin story for this character. This character is a pretty big and popular character right now in the, in the Marvel Comics universe. And so seeing her just being introduced into a multiverse of madness, hopefully there'll be some sort of quick uh, montage on how she became who she is, or we'll get that in the future. Maybe she'll get her own show or a movie or whatever. Uh, I think she is a very uh, uh, profound character to have in the MCU. So hopefully her future is bright uh, at, in the MCU and the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So her premiere, obviously, is in Doctor Strange, The Multiverse of Madness on May 6, 2022. Uh, the movies are expected to run about two hours, two hours and six minutes. And it's part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe Phase 4. Um, the movie was written and directed, or written by Michael Waldron, uh, Multiverse of Madness, that is, who also did the Loki TV series and directed by Sam Raimi, who is responsible for the Spider-Man, Tobey Maguire movies, and as, as well as a bunch of horror films, which is pretty cool. It is starring Benedict Cumberbatch as Dr. Stephen, Stephen Strange, Elizabeth Olsen as Wanda Maximoff and Scarlet Witch, Chowetel uh, Ejiofor, I always get that one correct, Chowetel Ejiofor as Carl Mordor, Benedict Wong as Wong, Sochitel Gomez as American Chavez, uh, Michael Stolberg as... Nicodemus West, Rachel McAdams as Christine Palmer, Patrick Stewart, who is portrayed as Chris Charles Vega and Professor X, supposedly, and Jillian H- uh, Hillard and Jeff Klein replies the roles as WandaVision's Wanda, WandaVision, as WandaVision from the show WandaVision, her sons, Wanda McFlock's sons, Billy and Thomas, Tommy, I was going to say Tommy Lee, Tommy, respectively. Jeez, I can't speak right now. There you go. So, so Shield Gomez is American Chavez in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness coming out this May, May 6, 2022 in the uh, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, like I mentioned just a second ago. Uh, we will be reviewing this movie as soon as we see it, whether Adam or myself go see it in the theaters or we wait for it to come out on digital. We will be reviewing this here on the podcast. But for now, here's that's a little bit of information about <clears throat> little rapid fire information about American Chavez, the character from the comic books and what she's expected to be in the MCU. Check out our review on capesandtights.com or Apple or Spotify, our review of Doctor Strange 1 from 2016, and as well as our little bit of a pre- more of a preview of Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness on the episode of me and Paul Eaton talked uh, back a couple of weeks ago. So check that out. Also, just out there, while you're listening to this, if you're listening to this little preview of American Chavez, Next week, the 1st through the 7th of May is Star Wars week here at Capes and Tights. So check out a brand new episode every day for seven straight days in the Star Wars universe. So check that out, capesandtights.com, for all that information based around that Star Wars week. But welcome to the Marvel Cinematic Universe, American Chavez. We are excited to see you and excited to meet you in Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness hitting theaters May 6th, 2022. Finally, guys, prepare. After this movie hits theaters, all things will change and we will be ready for things, 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 things from Marvel and Disney here on Capes and Tights. So again, thanks for listening, everybody. Make sure you subscribe, rate, and review, all that stuff. But until next time, I'm your host, Justin Soderbergh. This has been the Capes and Tights podcast. Peace. <laughs>